Hey, welcome to this Heartland Farm Wife. Um, I just wanted to, I guess, videotape um, what I'm doing today. Brian asked me to come on the farm and um, go ahead and do a fly spray on all of our cows and um, drop out salt blocks. Um, if you're not familiar with salt blocks, they are... They have, um, it's a mineral salt block and it has, um, certain, like, vitamins. Um, it's got zinc, iron, stuff like that. It's really good for our calves. Um, this type of salt block that we have, we have noticed, we switched to it about two years ago, and we have noticed that, um, our calves, um, pink eye ratio is down a lot. So, um, that used to be a huge problem. And now that we have, um... Uh, cross charlets. Um, charlets are more prone to pink eye. So um, we really, really like this salt block. I ripped off the tag so I could show you what kind we got. That's backwards, but um, this is the kind we use now. It's pretty good. Um, it's got copper, iodine, which is huge in helping the pink eye um, situation. Um, iron, zinc, calcium, salt, magnesium, potassium, sulfur, and a couple other ones. Um, it's by Redmond Agriculture, uh, natural block. So it's for all classes of beef and dairy cattle, sheep, goats, pigs, and horses. So, um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. I have six bunches to do. I've already done two. I just dropped my third one into, um, this set of pasture. And now I'm going to, I'm going to spray fly spray on the cows. Um, here in Southern Iowa, our flies have gotten pretty bad right now in September. So I'm going to do that. They don't like that. It doesn't hurt them. It doesn't burn them. Nothing. It's just a shock of being wet. So, um, they are going to run for me. So, but I am not hurting them. I love that. Okay. Here we go. Here to where these girls are at. Sorry, I had a malfunction earlier with my fly spray and I had to go back to the shop and um, figure it out. Brian helped me figure it out. But anyways, so now I'm in the back and um, if you watched my last video, I kind of mentioned, oh, I should have worn my muck boots. I kind of mentioned um, creep feeders. So I'm going to show you what those are and make sure we just got like an inch. Yeah, we just got an inch of rain. And, um, they can, it can rain in on our feed and cause it to wet and then, um, cause it to be wet and then the calves will not eat it. So if you are watching this and you're like, oh yeah, I got a creep feeder. I got that issue. This is what we use. It's like a little, you can't really tell that it's a little one up in the camera, but it's like a little foldable shovel. I don't really know where we got it, but. Anyways, we put that in the back of our Ranger or Kubota, our little ATV, and that's what we use year-round. Year-round, listen to me. Um, that's what we use during this season. Um, yeah, I literally just stated that it rained, and here I am in my Twisted X's. Okay, hold on. Okay, so this is kind of what it looks like. It's got two sides. That top lid right there, that is where we put the feet at from the grinder mixer. Okay, we're just gonna have to be like knees deep. Okay. Oh, hello girls. Holler. Okay. Uh. So this is all wet. I'm gonna scrape that down towards her. I don't wanna scrape against that. I usually take my fingers. 
see how it's coming out when I move it? That means it's not wet anymore. Sometimes though, it can get clumps up there. Okay, gotta watch my head. They know that this isn't very. Oh. Yeah, see? That is wet they feed and they will not eat it. Okay, that's shit. That is not from rain. Somebody pooped in here. Ooh, like a lot. I'm really glad I did not use my hands on that one. Even if I have gloves on, that's gross. Would've been everywhere. Four hours later, it wouldn't take me this long if I wasn't holding my phone. But... Whoever shit in here really got it caked in. Holy smokes. I'm sweating. I really hope they don't go out because I did leave the front gate open. good from here it doesn't look wet even if it did i probably wouldn't go in there because i didn't wear my muck boots but brian if you're watching i did not just say that so just ignore just a bit. Woo, that wore me out i'm sweating okay so now i'm gonna drop salt block off we don't have a salt block holder here and if we do it's somewhere I can't do this with only one hand. So this is what they look like. They're about 50 pounds. Come on! Spraying the fly spray. And then I 
can't find the heifers and that's who I'm supposed to be spraying right now. So they better be in here and not in somebody else's corn field. There's two. Well, a bull and a heifer, but uh, I don't know. I don't know why they think I'm chasing. I'm not chasing you. I'm not. I don't want to chase you. I want to find the other one. Actually, my third bunch. 